Today we're going to talk about chromatic, but first, let's hear it. Alright, so you get the idea. That's the chromatic. I've never played chromatic or talked about chromatic on YouTube ever. Um, I've been playing it not quite as long as I've been playing the diatonic harmonica, the 10 hole, but shortly after, within a couple, three years, I picked it up. Um, not a huge uh, chromatic player, but I, I try to use it as effectively as I can in third position, which is a very common position to play a chromatic for a blues guy. So let's just talk about a couple things. Um, why play the chromatic? First of all, this is a Honer Super Chromatica in the key of C. It's a 270 is the model number. Um, and what does a chromatic mean? It means that you have all of the notes accessible without having to do things like bending a note on that diatonic. You know, we have to bend a note down. Let's say to find that here we can just go blow it and then push the button in and it's going to move a half step all right so the button is moving the notes in half steps that's the draw note and what's really interesting is that um there's pretty much nothing you can't uh, play key-wise on, on a C chromatic, but they make different key chromatics because the phrasing layout can get funky quickly depending on what key you're playing the C in. It might move you in a register where you're like, I really don't want to be phrasing it up here on the way top, and that's where it is in that key. I need to be down here. Well, you might need to switch key chromatics. All right. So... It sounds different, and that's one main reason to try it out and maybe consider adding it to the mix. It just has a different sound. It sounds it sounds really bright and clean, um, and it's cool. It has a shimmer to it, especially the way I play, which is with a lot of these octaves. Um, so I want to talk about... Uh, I'll just talk about a little bit of an approach of how you can start to self-teach and I don't have a ton of information for you. I would look for some other players. Um, great chromatic players to listen to. I mean, the list is pretty long. Paul DeLay, Gary Primich played great chromatic. I mean, this is just some blues guys. And pretty much most of the greats played, you know. James Cotton and Kim Wilson plays great chromatic. Um, but look for some guys outside of that genre maybe you can um check out guys like uh oh rob paparossi he's going to be a great person to check out so that's and there's tons of other jazz guys you know rob is playing everything from rock to folk to jazz to you know he's, he's an eclectic player so it's a good guy to listen to but like um I was trying to think of some really well-known jazz. Well, Stevie Wonder was a great chromatic player. I'm just spacing. I'm blanking on a good um, example of a current modern uh, jazz guy. Maybe you guys can help me out and post in the comments. So 
Well, how can you self-teach? Well, it's not too bad, you know? And they make baritone chromatics. Like this is a jazz CX-12. So it's a C, but it's a baritone. It's lower, it's an octave lower. Um, the way I learned how to play chromatic for third was I just taught myself what I know on the diatonic and I went looking for those riffs. So you find these half step bends here and um, are correlating, right? And beyond just the half step bends to other um, blow notes with the button in. And that was the biggest discovery I had early on was like, oh, uh, the three triple bend, the step and a half is the three blow um, with the button in. You can count the notes if you need to. Make sure it's three. Well, four and five are the same. Just to be aware of that. Um, you could tongue block it to get your single notes or pucker it. I tend to pucker it because that's how I learn. So again, I just, I follow that third position scale work basic chromatic. I'm not a fancy player. I just try to keep it, you know, in the pocket and keep it trying to sound like it's supposed to sound nice and even and good. Uh, I like, I would leave you with this. I think it's nice compliment to use chromatic to uh, slow blues. You can play this third position in major or minor. So D major slow blues, or maybe try it on a um, D major swing song or any D minor if you've got a C chromatic and just start messing around. Start pushing the button also when it's in like I just did. Figure out what those do. You know, you can play with the button in. And when you let the button out and draw in, it's kind of like the bent notes for if you played with the button out and took a blow note and pushed the button in. Make sense? So it reverses. So you're leaving your hand on the button and then you take it off on a draw note. Like. Versus. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. A little talk about chromatic. Hope that helps somebody. There's a first for everything, like me doing this video about chromatic. Maybe you guys uh, will grab a chromatic and start playing. Might be a good idea.